Hello fifth graders, if you've clicked on this video, that means you have decided to learn the euphonium slash baritone. You can refer to it either way. The terms are pretty interchangeable. The first thing I want to do is give you a few fun facts about the baritone. So it actually dates back to the year 1810 and it was invented in Paris. There are different forms of the instrument, so the marching band version of the baritone euphonium actually looks like an oversized trumpet. It's horizontal like that. It is more commonly an instrument used in big bands and jazz groups. And some famous classical baritonists are James Morrison, Harry Mather, and Herbert Scott. So there are a few fun facts for you. The next thing we're going to do is talk about the assembly of the baritone. The assembly of the baritone is pretty simple. There are only two pieces. You just have the very large instrument itself and the mouthpiece. Just remember that when you do put on the mouthpiece, after you insert it, twist it to secure it on. You'll feel when it's secure. Also, when it comes to the embouchure of the baritone, I recommend just taking the mouthpiece itself and practicing blowing into it over and over again. <coughs> just like that, because that's exactly how you're going to blow into the instrument when you actually play it. Two things I want to touch on when you're learning the baritone. First off is posture. So the way you're supposed to hold the baritone is just take your fingers like so and you can stick your thumb underneath this bar and place your fingers over the keys like so and what how you hold it down here you're supposed to hold it kind of right on the edge of it right here so that's what it's going to look like when you're holding it properly make sure when you're playing you're not you know just like keep it like this also, I would like to add that when you play your instrument, do your very best to not puff out your cheeks. Don't do that, if you can at all help it. I know it's going to be difficult, but trust me, in the long run, it'll be so much better if you play with your cheeks tucked in, okay? No poofing. None of that. Keep them tight. Alrighty. So now that we have hit a few points on the baritone, I think you are ready to start practicing. Good luck.